It's called the Q train. And it's really about that whole stranger on a train phenomenon. I don't know if you ever noticed on the subway where you might wonder what this person is like and maybe invent a life for them or, or a life together. <laughs> the Q train, Brooklyn, New York, July 2004. He sits in a middle seat on the subway train, sandwiched between two other passengers, a young blonde man and an older person who barely registers on my consciousness. I'm standing and swaying, holding on to a silver bar on a silver car, the Q train heading toward Manhattan, off to see a play called I Am My Own Wife about the life of a German transvestite. I am also my own wife or husband without a partner or romance on the horizon. I'm trying not to think about that when I notice this young man who sits across from where I stand, his eyes at half-mast, his face and body arresting me. I'm aware of his physique, young, sculpted, vibrant, straining the olive drab of his t-shirt. And yet his face is what draws me in and won't let go. Under his buzz cut, his dark brown eyes speak of tiredness beyond fatigue, and his face underneath those eyes is lined, almost grooved. Skin the color of cinnamon, lightened with a bit of cream. Hispanic, I guess. Puerto Rican, Dominican, a native New Yorker. I toy with his biography, creating it out of thin air as I scan his melon-shaped biceps and his muscled chest. Then I'm back examining his countenance, the sharpness of his cheekbones, which rise up out of the valleys below the eyes of his Spanish Indian face. I imagine caressing him just once or twice as his eyes close, aware he's being watched, but showing me no interest or concern. The train rolls and rocks as I memorize him like a textbook. He is young, old, smooth cut, handsome, and not so good looking. Finally, we jerk and stutter into another station, another brown, steamy platform, the air redolent of dog's breath. The man stands numbly, pushes forward, and melds into the crowd, a moving sea of all shapes and colors, pulsing with his brightness. Thank you.